Cancerians out there. I want to tell you about your October 2015, and this will count for sun sign Cancerians or if you have a Cancerian ascendant. So both you guys, pay attention. Now, October 2015 for everybody is possibly the best month of 2015, starting with the new moon. I know that's kind of weird. I'm cutting the month in half, but you'll see why. Now, um, my advice is for everybody to maximize your luck and continue with upgrades, the eternal upgrades that were part of the technological society. Okay, now the first half of the month is in red and that's because it's challenging and the second half gets a lot better. So after the new moon, we're going to see a lot better month. Uh, we're starting the month with Mercury retrograde and for you, you may have had to do research mode connected with your family. You may have had to do troubleshooting or find solutions for management. You know, so that'll be good in the long run, but it's just, it just seems uh, maybe a waste of your time. Uh, but not a waste of your time. But uh, things will get really, you know, interesting in the sense of almost living in some kind of fairy tale or a, or a myth for you um, October 3rd through 9th when Mars opposes Neptune. That's because you're going to get very active in meetings and you have a lot of mis visits to make. You have, a, a, you have to reactivate your media skill set, make a lot of presentations, or do a lot of communicating. So that's almost enough in itself, but no. Here's Neptune in your ninth house, so you're, for some reason, infatuated with some type of topic, you know, or you're really um, understanding more how to use your education, or you've become more religious and, um, or more you know, aware of global things. And that's been going on for quite some time, for many, many years. But now Mars comes in and activates this. So it's like you really want to bring in all this richness into these meetings, but you may have to keep it a little concise because you can't bring in all that stuff all the time. Well, do the best you can. But um, then when we go forward to the fourth through the ninth, this is a kind of a pride versus power issue where you have great pride or a lot of energy invested in your family and your, in your home or maybe your management system. And it could be that you are looking for what is the basis for happiness. And then your partner um, or your social life is really going in a different direction. So what do you do? Well, you know, you try to compromise as best you can because you have a, a long-term investment in your partnerships and your social life and your public persona. So maybe they don't want to know about how much work you've had to do in management or what would really make you happy. Maybe it's um, important for you to listen to them too and then somehow, I mean, I don't want you to be a, a martyr or anything, but find a, a way to for this to work together because this, this just indicates things are at odds with you and with your partnerships or social life. So then there's good news, though, coming up the 6th through the 16th. And I realize some of these are overlapping time periods, and that's kind of how life is. There's some good things phasing in while some things are a little tougher phasing out. So you got to jump on the good things. And in this case, you have more action connected with meetings, visits, media skill set. That is, you're, you're maybe using multimedia in some way to benefit your uh, communications or your connections. And this now is very appealing to your partnership. So hey, now it's a whole different game. Now you're just the most popular, coolest person that, that, that ever was. So that's great. We're going to continue on that track, let's hope. And um, as we have the new moon on, uh, in astronomical Virgo, that is, if you would see in the sky that it's connected to the whole agricultural phenomenon. The sun is conjunct spica. Spica is the shaft of wheat being held by the agricultural goddess. Now, this is in your fourth house, so this may indicate that there's you know, opportunity for you to bring people into your home, um, that you can be receptive, you can have an open house, you can have some kind of, you can bring people, people in your family who maybe are a little introverted, maybe you can bring them around, you can help them to be more social, you can bring in elements of science, agriculture, and philosophy to, to impact your home in some good way. You can also uh, find um, in maybe your cultural background or some interest in music and art to enrich your home in some way. So the issues are hope versus cynicism, so I'm hoping uh, to be redundant, um, that you can uh, push towards the things that seem that are going to work and maybe back off from the things that aren't. Though in the new moon, it's kind of hard to tell because things are just starting. So, that, so that's the thing to kind of be open, but maybe be a little bit skeptical. Um, now on this new moon, 
the new moon is in opposition to Uranus, Uranus, which is the future. So you have of this great sense of a future in your life's purpose, in your career. So, you know, the world is kind of divided into two sets of people. The people who have, um, you know, a kind of foundation to help their career, and so other people have a career to help their foundation or their personal life. And, you know, you could be seeing plenty of both things, and you might be scoring up in all kinds of different ways with how do you have a balance between having, you know, you know some kind of fame or some kind of, you know, reinvention in your life's purpose and at the same time have a personal life. Um, well, now we're going to see, go back to this whole thing of meetings, visits, because this is your lucky area all the way through the end of 2015 and into 2016. There's a great sense of enterprise here where there's all kinds of people to see and things to do and leave things behind, leave, you know, traces, your ideas, you know, your, your, your resume or what you've done or some kind of publication or some kind of product. And so you want to be um, leaving behind, uh, you know, maybe starting things up, starting up new networks. And, uh, you know, this is a very fortunate time. And, um, and, and there's huge success and great luck potential here during this time. Also, Venus, and Venus then conjuncts Jupiter uh, 24th through the 26th. So these are the bright lights are uniting. So more joy, more celebration. I mean, you're probably feeling a little worn out. You've been to so many parties or so many visits. But, you know, it's just this is the time to do it. Get this set up. Maybe you can operate more remote later. But, I mean, this is just, you know, when you're hot, you're hot. You've got to get out there and meet people and make those connections. Um, the full moon is, you know, even more so <laughs> social things here. We've got more of that, so it's not over yet. Uh, but uh, October 25th through 29th, the full moon is going to activate your benefactors, friends, and patrons, and also your groups, associations, favors, and gifts. So you can, uh, you can do favors, you can ask for favors, you can give gifts, you can get gifts. This is a kind of a festival time. And it's uh, near the, just to give you a little astronomy here, um, the full moon is near the um, Andromeda galaxy, which has to do with expanding community views. So you may get involved with groups and friends that are in a whole different thing. You've never experienced anything like that. And that's cool. And then you have also here, it's um, in the triangle, um, the triangle constellation, which is compassionate, justice oriented, truthful, and righteous. So you could really be meeting some very interesting people and some benevolent people too. So it's in the pulse of life. So you may pick up on, you know, you have a lot of things to do or a lot of people to meet and it's like you've got to pick up the pulse of, you know, maybe you have to change the rhythm according to how that, that group is, you know, how the heart is beating in that age group. So there's almost like a switch of identity, chameleon-like, that's the word I want. Um, you can also feel great pride in nation roots and cultural heritage because it's near the horns of the, of the ram. So maybe you get back in touch with your ethnic background and you know people that you've maybe reunions, people you've known in the past can be very good for that. So I'm you know, kind of like cheerleader for your social life here with this and it's just such a good full moon. Uh, we won't have anything like this for quite some time so I want you to take advantage of it and that's at the end of the month because even as we get into November it's a whole different situation, a whole different ball game. We're going to see some signs of stoicism, maybe some kind of sacrifice is necessary. We're all going to have to toughen up but not be self-destructive. So it's walking that line. So I'm just I'm telling you, October you want to just go full force and I hope it works out for you. And anyway, my name is Victoria Martin. Thank you very much for watching. I hope it works out for you.